zooming, you get the El Capitan 10.11 downloaded, which is an app right here, and put it on the desktop, okay? So it's 5.6 gig, 94 meg per second. That's pretty good for the uh, USB 3.0. So now open this up, content. Inside here you have share support. Now, some people can download only the install ESD from the um, internet, but that's okay too. So because we're going to extract this one. So what I do is I extract it to install ESD. Alright. So install it into a folder. So later you can delete it. So you can still keep the original one. Okay, so it's done. You open it up. Go to install Mac OS X packages. Inside here, there's another install the ESD. So we need to extract this one again. So there's two install ESD that we need to extract. So this one will give you the five HFS. That's the real one. Okay, so the second install ESD is done, and inside here we have the five HFS. That's six gig. So what we're going to do, we're going to extract this one. So what you're going to do is you're going to extract to root. So when you extract to root, it's going to create a folder number five. So now we have five inside here we have OSD install ESD now inside here you can see you have a packages folder this is the one we need we're going to drag it outside to the desktop okay extract the base system So this one is only 1.2 gig. So this one we can leave it in here. We don't have to take it out. You see this 4 HFS? This is the one we need to restore to our 7.5 gig. I have Clover 3.32 is an 8 gig but I'm gonna redo it just for the demonstration okay so now let's look at the option okay configuration the boot partition size is uh, 200 meg I put it 300 meg and make sure you have internet uh, hooked up format disk This one will be destroyed, so I'm sure that I'm going to kill this one. So they found the latest Clover 3320. So that's good. They're going to download automatically. It's only 13 meg, and it's going to install it. Okay, so it's done. So the next one we want to do is to restore the base onto this. So we go to desktop, El Capitan. Content, share support, install ESD, install, go to 5, go to install ESD again, go to the base system, and this is the one we need. This is the base, okay? Number 4 is the base. So, we're going to scroll to there. Yes. Okay, it's restored. So 1.2 gig is in here. So the next one we want to do is to use Paragon Partition Manager. 
to resize that one 1.2 gig to 7.2 gig uh, partition manager all right now this is the one we need so we're going to go to resize partition over here and then we're going to go all the way so nice so we click yes and we click apply do not show this message again alright so we're resizing the 1.2 gig all the way to 7.2 so we can copy the packages folder in there okay so it's done So the next one we want to do is Transmag. So make sure we run this one with Administrator. So we got 15 days. A web-based system. Now what we need to do is to go to System Installation we need to delete this one it's called the alias and then what we need to do is to copy here so to right click copy here and we're going to go to desktop where is my package folder packages folder so copy the whole packages folder so it's 5.3 gig so it's going to take a while. Okay, while we're still copying, uh, we need to get the kernel for the El Capitan because we cannot extract it from my website. Dogonmonkey.com text. We need to download the, the right one, okay? So get the kernel for 11. So I'm going to download the kernel. So did it download? All right. So extract, extract here. So kernel 10.11. So this is a folder that we need. So we're going to drag it out here to the desktop. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy this kernel onto the system library folder when this one's done this is the clover that we put this utility I'm going to rename this one to 3320 so I can remember okay we go to the EFI folder go to the clover folder go to ACPI and there's a patch folder so assuming that it is your brand new so we're gonna take the original select all call, right click and copy so what we're gonna do we're gonna copy to the patch folder all the original one that we extracted from read write everything so the next one we want to do, we are going to need all the files. driver all of these HFS plus but what I do is just select all copy 
and then we go to my clover yeah, the original one they only have like three so I'm gonna copy all of this in here paste now do you want to replace the file in the destination skip these files so now I have driver 64 UEFI So the next one we want to do is to copy all the kecks. So the original one doesn't have anything. And my kecks. So you're going to do 10 and 11, I think. What you want to do is to copy this and this in case. Control C. And I'm going to put in my kecks folder. Control V. I have a HCI port injector. Fake at SMC, that's a must. And a PS controller, Kex from Rehab Man. So while it's finishing that, again, we're gonna need a config file. So this one is done. So what's the next one we need to do? To copy the kernel. So what we're gonna do is gonna right click, copy here kernel right the whole folder okay so make sure so this one is system library okay it have to be in the library folder all right and make sure they have that kernel we also need inside the base system here so what we're going to do is we're going to copy here and then we go to El Capitan content share support install ESD install my OSX and then install ESD again and then 5 install OS so now look at this we have four of these files that I'm going to copy over make sure you see these four okay it's in the OS X install ESD copy to the base to the root okay so so now our OS base system on this uh, 8 gig is done. So let's open the config file. Alright, so fix region, 1 million or whatever, new way. Now we're going to put this one, dsdt.aml, okay, the original one. SSDT sorted order drop OEM is true sorted order one two three four now those are original okay dot equal to zero is the must for this HP default volume is going to be El Capitan X111 never hibernate true timeout you can do whatever XMP detection true audio I'm going to patch it so that the layout ID is going to be 12 so I'm going to inject 12 add clock ID false fix ownership fault and inject true disable driver make sure this one's in there and whatever's in uh, the uh, GUI here the screen resolution on this one 1360 by 768 dual link one actually zero is fine too the important thing is the intel key must be true this is intel and the hd4000 is zero six zero one six six zero 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 three true 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 all of them and this is a key to patch for the um, five gigahertz but i don't have it on this one i can leave it here it doesn't hurt 
The important thing is the HDMI audio 4000 from Rehab Man to patch the HDMI. This is for the Capri. Now, these are the one for iMessage. So the MLB, this is for the old one, so I'm going to put change here, 15. Now, where do I get the ROM key? The ROM key is from your BIOS. Go to your BIOS. And this is a UUID number right here. So 4384-3497. The last, these last one is from the uh, MAC address for your Ethernet. So I'm going to have to copy this one. The serial number, this is MacBook Air 5.2. So just change the last two, the two number in here. And then this number has to be the same as this number in here because every computer has a unique number, UUID. So in the serial number here, oh, I need to change this one too. Control C. Make sure you have this one. Control V. So that's important, okay? So make sure you have those for your config file. So you have Clover 332, Clover, and inside here you have important things, ACPI, patch folder, put all your original CAC driver, UEFI, better you have all of these guys in here, download it from somewhere, I don't care, the CAX 1011, you must have AACI port injector, fixed SMC, and Voodoo PS2 controller catch from Rehab Man. Go there and get it. Theme, they only have metal in here, so but it's not important. Those are not important. Clover will default it to config. But you can also uh, choose which config uh, that list you want. Alright? Again, let's open the config up. Drop OEM, drop OEM, use DSDT and SDT originally. Make sure dot equal to zero. Alright. And you can get a sample one from my website. The important thing is boot to config 28 CSR active config is 67 to disable everything so you can install your your CAX okay now UUID must be from your BIOS now we're ready to boot